At Nick Morado, final thoughts, favorite part? Uh, yeah, a couple quick ones. Uh, definitely when we had Gerard Powers on for the interview and he could not comprehend that that was not you under center on the oh. fake play. Unbelievable. Because, you know, <laughs> you know, in the Cardinals locker room, now that I'm thinking back, like, I bet you their whole locker room was like, man, you see McAfee try to take that fucking snap? <laughs> That's how that happens. That is definitely how that happens now that I'm hindsighting the hell out of this thing. So now I got to send a memo to everybody in that locker room. Yeah, <laughs> the entire NFL, it's, probably. It's basically slander. <laughs> Wrong white guy. Maybe libel. Yeah. One of the, two. Uh, the moment that you discovered you were being profiled while driving oh, your Escalade yeah. across oh, state yeah. lines. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. That was a good one. When I got uh, pulled over driving my Escalade on 24th, and I didn't know why. Until this year. Until just now. You guys, <laughs> yeah. you guys told me it was driving while. With spinners on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking, nice. He had 24 inch spree wells on there. Nice fucking. spinners. <laughs> oh, huh. The origin story of the uh, Diggs hot tub. Which is in no way exaggerated oh. and is completely 100% true. No, We're no, no, We're talking no, 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 no. anal in a hot tub. <laughs> that was, I had that, that was close second for one of my top moments. <clears throat> a lot of people don't know this. I had a family oh. and kids. Um, <laughs> and then Pat told this story uh, about this, what happened. And I no longer have a family and kids. <laughs> so that was also a top moment of mine on the podcast. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Which, <laughs> which, if everybody know, uh, shout out to my uh, therapist Nancy. Uh, every fucking <laughs> Friday, uh, she's just getting a paycheck on that one. The fact now, that you just try to spin on that and the people feeling bad for you <laughs> is no, outrageous. If you're married out there and you're not sure how the rules work, um, one thing you don't want to do if you are married with kids. Is raw dog honeys at 3 p.m. on a pool party on Sunday in the summer. <laughs> in the middle of everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much a good way to get exit right out of that lifestyle. All right. I uh, appreciate that. Great memory there. I'm happy you brought that up. You have one more. The final one is the entire Las Vegas recap episode. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm, I puked, didn't I? Yeah. No. yeah. I dry heaved. Legitimate. I dry heaved. That was puked. legitimate. Yeah. That Vegas trip really took a lot out of me. <laughs> Boy, what a time, though. That was a legendary Vegas trip. Yeah, that's one good way to put it. A uh, media mogul turned 40, and we decided to go out there, and we won a trip from fucking Bud Light. Thank you, Bud Light, paying me out there. Xavier, my dogs, only ones that got through as underdogs to the Sweet 16. Thanks for sending me to Vegas, Bud Light. You didn't pay for enough, though, Bud Light. I'll tell you that. Could have used a little more. <laughs> Could have used a little bit more, a lot of things. Bud Light, maybe uh, tabs, gambling money, uh Fanny packs, everything. We had a good time. I went eyeball to eyeball with Calvin Harris. How's it going? Wearing a sombrero and a t-shirt. How's it going? Stone. Unbelievable. Un fucking believable. Unbelievable. Twice in one <laughs> show? Dad, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> We're literally in the middle of the podcast right now. Oh, well, sorry about that. Do you have anything you gotta say to the people? <laughs> All right, Dad, I'll call you back. I love you, man. All right, I love you. Talk to you. Bye. So, <laughs> so it's on silent when it's connected to Bluetooth, though. Yeah, it go automatically through, yeah. goes. Well, I'm glad because it really is fun to say that whenever your phone rings, <laughs> yeah. uh, especially being the only butt fucker in here that <laughs> has a phone that ever rang during this. There's so. really, I mean, there's nothing I could do about that, but it's a good ringer. I should let it hit. Oh, Tim. <laughs> At the Jeff Vibbert, final thoughts. What's your favorite moment from the show so far? Well, uh, my least favorite moment was you guys interrupting my massage. <laughs> <laughs> my f one of my favorite moments was the Indy 500. That was like our first week together where we were creating stuff. Uh, but my favorite moment was when we left the Indy 500. Oh. Uh, you're 100% right you with couldn't that. couldn't be more right. That was the best day we have ever had together. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Look my at this mother... By the way, she's on the butt right now, like... He's to the butt part of the massage. Did you listen to Sean earlier? His eyes just got so big. Did you listen to Sean earlier? She can't hear you. My, uh, raise the hips, raise the hips, raise the hips, raise the hips. She was working on my right shoulder earlier. Jamie, could you tell I have an injured right shoulder? She it was pretty tight. She said it was pretty tight. Yeah, I injured it doing a somersault in 2011. So, <laughs> <laughs> But I didn't have medical insurance, so I couldn't go to the doctor. I got plenty of those old just heal ups. Oh, this is absolutely absurd. All right, and my uh, favorite time has been, honestly... We've got a chance to really do and talk about so much cool stuff. I enjoy it every single time we come in here. But my favorite has to be 
it, it there's no second place. I mean, it's just. I think we all could probably guess. Yes, that. I mean, this is just whenever this guy, just in the middle of a practice round, calls us. I go, John, how's it going? We don't even know each other at this moment. This is our first time talking. In the first couple holes, you could tell he's real serious. And then by the third hole, he goes, hey, this one's for you, baby. And then he whoosh, put his phone down next <laughs> to his club. And I was like, how is it? Is it going? And he goes, ah, 20 yards short. Let me hit another one. Whoosh, I like that. I like that a lot. That was where John Daly and us became friends. Yeah. And now we can honestly say friends of the show. Friend of the mm -hmm. show. Well, I won and lost against the best. This old road's been a hell of a test. I'm still driving. I ain't slowing down. There's rules I love to break and ban. Mistakes I made again and again. But I tell you this, my friends, I'm still around. I hit it hard, man. And now we have like 60 of those in our fridge. Hit it hard. <laughs> <laughs> the grip it and grip sip, it, and sip stuff. it. Now that we're, now we're friends like that. Um, but I really do. I enjoy everything we do. I'm excited for it. These guys are starting up a new show too, which is awesome, which I'm excited for the world to hear. Uh, Todd and Sean have been hosting it. Nick and Vibs have been collabing on it. We, we are over here trying to create as much cool and awesome stuff as possible. I hope you continue to rock with us. <laughs>